that he is Muslims. Your Dai are lying to you about the Christian faith. I challenge you. Show me the age of Mary in the Bible. Show me the age of Mary in the Bible. All you have a rhetoric. What's the age of Mary in the Bible? I'm not saying a specific age. What? What? Right. Point was right. That you said right. So what were you trying to say? Let's have a conversation. Come on. Let's have a conversation. So, from what I understood of your point, you were saying it is valid for Mary to be pregnant because she had reached the age of puberty. No, I didn't say that. that. Okay, so what, what was I your said point was, about her having reached the age what of puberty? What I said was... What, what was the point in relation to that? No, like the words, she has reached the age of puberty, didn't pass my lips. What I actually said, okay. if you had listened to what I had said, was Don't that the fact that she could travel independently uh -huh. and that she was old enough to have a child. So would that not Let be me the finish. Same thing as puberty? Thought we weren't talking over one another. Try it then. Shall we show let's have a conversation. Yeah, yeah. Get okay? To it. Right? Calm down. No I'm one's fine, dimming. Brother. I've got an orange no one, I'm blessed. Yeah, no <laughs> one's I, I envy you right now. So the fact that the fact that Mary Remember, it was God that gave Mary her pregnancy. Okay. So God, the all knowing, knows when someone is ready to have a child. And he was the one that caused her to be pregnant. Therefore, what we know is that she was old enough to have a child. The Bible doesn't give an age, sure. but your hadiths do. Your hadiths say six and nine. That's one hadith from one source in one book. Are you saying Bukhari was wrong? There are multiple scholars and sources. I'm not saying he was right or wrong. I'm just saying it's not as clear cut as you're presenting. Give me one that gives a different age. I'm not going to quote a specific hadith, but if anyone's watching this, Google it. And there is not one fixed opinion. There are multiple opinions. However, nope, the point I was trying to make is you somehow justified that Mary was ready to bear a child, therefore Clearly. it was okay. Clearly. Okay, so if a female has reached the age of puberty, I don't think even you are saying, even in whatever interpretation of Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, you are not saying that she had not reached the age of puberty, right? Can, can I reply to that? Sure, of course. Right. So firstly, you're absolutely wrong to say that there is a hadith that gives another age. There isn't. The only, let me, let me finish, the only yeah, hadiths listening. that say that she was six and nine are Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay. The arguments that she was older than that are just arguments that you've been duped by, by Muslim apologists who are demoting Sahih al-Bukhari because they're embarrassed by Sahih al-Bukhari. Now, coming to your point about puberty, uh -huh. right? The I'm hadith, the, that's, fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's totally fine, I fully appreciate it. And I appreciate the fact we're having a calm conversation. But Sahih al-Bukhari is explicit, she was six and prepubescent when the nikah happened. Sure. Now, do you agree with me that prepubescent children are not mature enough to us consent to marriage? I think by our like modern paradigm that would be the case. What I would say is potentially at the time A it was a cultural norm and B the lifespan was much shorter. So and someone who was at a younger age percentage wise would be a lot further through their life for example. And my understanding is it was a cultural norm, right? My understanding is it was her father who wanted this to occur. Can I reply? To of course. Yeah. So you're absolutely right, it was a cultural norm. But female genital mutilation is a cultural norm. Throwing widows onto the bonfires of their husband's cremation pyre is a cultural norm. Yeah, killing, killing children as sacrifices is a cultural norm. In other words, the defense that it is a cultural norm is not a defense. That's the point that I was making by that. So secondly, but you were right, it was a cultural norm. Yeah. The second problem with your defense, right, uh -huh. is that, he, that if she was prepubescent, uh -huh. right, the fact that people died earlier in those days doesn't mean that they were more mature because of it. Let me explain why. The decision-making capacity of your brain is connected to the frontal lobe development. Yeah, which is in the Quran. Right? The frontal lobe development occurs after puberty. If Aisha reached puberty at nine, and just for the sake of this argument, okay. I'll give it you, that means that she didn't have those frontal lobes at six, 
and she could not make a mature so decision. Known at the time? Of course not. So how would it be possible to judge people? Great, by something great example. Known at the time? Uh, great question. Because this is why we know Muhammad never had a hot wire to God. Because Muhammad is your example. Muhammad didn't know about frontal lobe development. And because he didn't know about frontal lobe development, he thought that a six-year-old could give con mature consent to marriage, which is physically impossible. Okay, so my understanding of like neuroscience and whatnot is quite limited, but I believe the current state of affairs is people's brains don't fully develop until around 25. Exactly! Are you saying no one should get married until 25? I, I'm actually in favor of raising the age of consent to 18. To 18? Yes. But that would still be seven years undeveloped, right? No, 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 because because what you're talking about is, is you're right, the brain doesn't stop developing until 25, but obviously maturity emerges in stages. Sure. So the moment that a child bleeds doesn't mean that they're suddenly ready for marriage. That's a fallacy amongst the Dayi, that's a fallacy amongst Muslim scholars who are trying to justify Muhammad's bad example to Muslims. But the reality is, if you go away, and I challenge you bro, just go away and look into childhood development. Go and look into when does the moral part of the brain develop. Sure, yeah. It is post-puberty. It, it, it occurs halfway through puberty, right? So whenever puberty kicks in, your frontal lobe development is about halfway through that process. So obviously that's why every society in the world is raising the age of consent because as we learn about childhood development, we recognize that having sex with 13 year olds is wrong and yeah. having sex with 12 year olds is wrong, having sex with nine year olds sure. is wrong and marrying six year olds yeah. is yeah. wrong. I have very limited knowledge on the matter so I'm not trying to argue from a perspective I don't know. My only contention is, my awareness is there are various opinions. My contention is by all accounts, Aisha was not unhappy in that marriage. She was very like happy to be a favored wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And my suggestion would be to, because I'm just, you know, I'm just and a I, revert Muslim. I don't have and that I, much I would knowledge. Say, I would say, I'd you, love to hear you debate Ali Dawa. About Ali Dawa runs away. He runs away. I doubt that. Challenge him to come and debate me and he'll run. I challenge you, you to go and challenge him. No, challenge him to come and debate me and he'll refuse. Why don't you do it? Because I have many times on camera and he runs away every single time. Go and look through SoCo Films. We've got him on camera multiple times refusing to debate me. And the most recent one was just last Sunday when I challenged him to a debate and he refused to do it. Do you know, what, on what grounds? Or do on what grounds? He, he gave his, his answer was, oh, I don't debate this person. And he came up with a load of bull. Have basically. you ever tried to debate Mohammed Hijab? Yes. Because I think he'd be and he, a well, lot I mean, better than me. No. Yeah. You can name, I've challenged them all, bro. Shamsi, Mohammed Hijab, Ali Dawa, Mansour, Hashim, Hashim the lot. Okay. They all run. My point to you, bro, you can re mention this question about happiness. Six young children, their capacity to understand what makes them happy or unhappy, at that point in their development is defined by their uh, adults. Mm. That's why children who are being abused as children, even though they feel sad, they can't understand it, they can't express it. Aisha was abused by Muhammad in a culture that abused children. In a culture that abused children because they didn't know better and Muhammad didn't know better, but you know better. You know better and a brother, not, uh, he's not a Christian yet, but a revert to Islam just two weeks ago left Islam because he went and did the challenge I've just given to you. Thanks, Go and look into childhood development. Yeah. His name's Luca. You can see him on our videos. Okay. He, re he became a Muslim revert and then he rejected Islam because he actually bothered to do the research yeah. and he recognized that he doesn't want to follow a prophet that had sex with a child, that allowed his followers to rape women, that traded in slaves, that allowed people to be murdered, that called for genocide and that allowed for the discrimination and persecution of religious minorities and the desecration of other people's you, religious sites. All of these things, do you condemn them or do you allow them? I condemn uh, anything that violates like consent. I, I, and you're a good man. I, I go my own path. I believe fully in consent. Like You're a good man. Um, you're a much better man than most of the I Muslims don't, here. I, look, is it not judge not lest ye be judged? So like, try live by that, innit? Bro, no, but, bro, you don't understand what you're quoting. Do I not? No. Well, tell me then, where am I wrong? So when Christ said, don't, but he said, judge not lest ye be judged, for whatever measure of meat ye judge a man, the same measure of meat shall be judged unto you. What he's saying is, it's not about 
don't judge. It's about having a charitable judgment. It's, um... So it's about saying, it's about saying, right, that that you need to recognize the sin in your own life okay. before you go and condemn the sin in other people. Okay. But I do recognize the sin in my life. I don't want to have sex with children, right? And people that do should be condemned. Yeah, but I don't think really anyone is suggesting in this time that that's okay. I had a Muslim on camera, a Muslim woman, who said on camera, that she is okay with marrying children. You're I'm asking you a question. Do you agree with child marriages? Yes, yes. Do you agree with child marriages? I'm not going to deny it. Do you agree with child marriages? Yes! Right, that is the problem. And she won't condemn paedophilia. Do you condemn paedophilia? No, I don't. You don't condemn paedophilia. Did you hear that? Ali Dawa, on camera, we have him on Soko Films, has said, Ali Dawa, one second, bro, 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 are you going to listen to me or are you just going to try and sidestep? Are you just going to try and sidestep? You asked me to debate, are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? So you asked me to speak to Ali Dawa. We have Ali Dawa saying on film. He's six that, foot behind you. Yeah, right? yeah, we, no, Ali Dawa said on camera he would marry his children. You asked me would I allow my daughter to get married at night? I'm saying the analogy is wrong because the, our teachers teach us the woman has to be sexually, mentally and physically ready. That means so if, my, if, if, my, if my daughter, no, 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 if my daughter wants to be okay, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. If my daughter reached the age of menstruation at nine years old, I would say you are ready, what's it about this? You are ready to get married. The moment they became, we have him on camera, bro. I'm not him. Right, but here's the point. I'm making to you yeah. is you're a better man than Muhammad. Thanks be to God. No, I'm you not, are a better I'm man not, than Muhammad. No, no, Do you I'm condemn not. slavery? Of course I condemn slavery. Muhammad practiced slavery. He Do you condemn slaves. him? He yes, and he, major act yes of charity he did. Slaves, he did. Which was a transition he out did. of the norms at the time. And he traded in slaves. Do you believe and he traded Testament? in slaves. No, hold on. Do you condemn sex with children? Yes, I do. Muhammad had sex with a child. Do you condemn? Do you condemn him? Do you condemn? Do you condemn? No, don't. Do you condemn? Do you condemn raping female captives? Yes, of course. Muhammad permitted his followers to rape their female That's, captives. That's a misconception. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. So did he? Did did he allow? Wait, okay, can I make a counterpoint? Or are you just going to endlessly go on? Go on. Me? I don't mean that in a rude way. Like there is a record in the Times, shortly after the Prophet's time, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. One of the companions was alleged to have had non-consensual sex with a captive of war. They were executed for it. I do not have the particular name. I could find it given the time. But to me, that is a strong evidence that there was never any permission to do something that wasn't consensual. Could you pull up? Could you help us find the hadith where? Your phone mic. Your, yours, yours. My question for you is: Do you say the Old Testament is valid? Yes or no? Because there are clear verses there which say to go into certain towns, kill all the men and enslave all the women and children. So either you are agreeing slavery was valid in the context of the Old Testament or you are disavowing the Old Testament. So which is it? Right. So the, the, firstly, firstly, the, the, this, the, this, is a not, this is a fallacious argument. How? I'm going to explain. If my boat has holes in it and your boat has holes in it, you pointing to the holes in my boat doesn't mean your boat doesn't have holes in it, right? Okay. That's the first thing, okay? So you've still got to deal with the fact that Muhammad traded in slaves and allowed women to be raped, and we're going to find you the reference in a second. I don't agree with that. I'm, I'm going to show you Muhammad did. You can I'm going to show you Muhammad did. You certain hadith, it doesn't necessarily mean I believe it happened. This is, I'm not a slave to the hadith. We're commanded in the Quran to use our brains to reach our own conclusions about what is true and what is false as long as it's not in blatant contradiction to the Quran, yeah? And the Hadiths. That is again a matter of opinion. Right. They are Quran alone Muslim. Are you a Quran alone Muslim? I am just someone who believes God is one and I try to live a good life on this earth. I don't go into all these historical things. I believe in prayer. I believe in charity. I believe in kindness. I believe in fasting. I believe in the pillars. I do not throw away all the good things because of a few potentially contentious hadith which I am not knowledgeable enough to comment on. So for me, 
I know that without a belief in God, I was an unhappy person. I was suicidal. I had nothing to live for, no hope. I know that by Allah's mercy, I've been shown a way of life which I feel gives me a purpose but, and a but, positive but, one. But, but the point I is, now the kind, point is, I'm now charitable. But, but, and, and, and I allowed all of that. But the point is, bro, you're stuck to a man that traded in slaves, but we were that allowed Allah, that Muhammad. traded in slaves. Yes, but you follow Muhammad. But only Muhammad, to an extent. So, no, you follow all of his no, examples. He, look, for example, look, Ali Dawa will justify slavery. Ali, Ali will do, Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa will justify the raping of female captives. Ali Dawa isn't like the boss of right. the Muslims, bro. He's the, a the guy that you wanted debater. me to debate a few minutes ago, you're now distancing knowledge. Knowledge. No, yourself I'm not distancing from. Myself. I'm saying Have we found the more knowledge hadith than me? Hadith, please. I respect Brother Ali, I admire what he does, but I'm just saying that you can't act like he is somehow the king of Muslims and we all right. agree but with Muhammad him. is, but the point is, bro. He's not the king of bro, Muslims. Right, the point is, bro, Ridiculous. the point, I never said that. I never he said that. He literally said he is. No, li no listen to what I'm your saying. Words, mate. Listen to what I'm saying. Muhammad is your now. example. Muhammad is your example. Muhammad is your example. So if he did it, you should be okay to do it. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. There are different right. times, different contexts. So do you condemn the trading in slaves? Have we not been over this five right. times? Did Muhammad trade slaves? Did he predominantly free them, buy them No, to he free traded them? in them. So it wasn't Islam encouraged had, to free. Islam had the biggest slave, oh, his, hot slave hot trade hot history hot in the world. No, 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 no. Got it when you want to. Right. Well, have you got it? Right. Let's go. Right. Listen, listen, bro. Listen. Listen, 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 you want to, I'm going to get, get bro, bro, Sahih al-Bukhari, listen to this, Sahih al-Bukhari, 83432. Abu Sayyid al-Qudri, Allah was pleased with him, reported that at the Battle of Hanain, Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him, sent so an army to Otos, it's, it's from the Hadith, it is from Muhammad. You just literally it's said Sahih, it's not directly from listen, okay. which is from Muhammad, listen. That at the Battle of Hunain, Allah's messenger, may be upon him, sent an army to Otus and encountered the enemy and fought with them, having overcome them and taken them captives. The companions of Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him, yeah, seemed to refrain from having intercourse with captive women because of their husbands being polytheists. So then Allah it. Most High sent down regarding and women already married except those whom your right hands possess. It is, it is lawful for them when their Ida period has come to an end. So in other words, these women were married, they were captives, and Allah is saying you can have sex with them. I don't That's think rape. Allah is saying that, but as my brother here is suggesting, why not debate yeah, someone with knowledge? I have a better suggestion for you. Like if Conor McGregor tried to fight me, it wouldn't be I, a fair fight. I have, I have a better suggestion for you that you have the courage to think for yourself. I do. You go away and you research what has been said. I literally have. And you, you well, you blatantly didn't because really? you didn't even know that Muhammad permitted the rape of women. I don't believe he did. The, the, then explain that verse. I have fully been over this already. You're making no, the what, same what did you say? over and over what, again. What did you say? That there are examples no, of when... A, a contrary example is... No, deal with the example I gave, not so a different example. Stop talking and let right, me go on. Talk. Yeah. I've literally said that there are other examples. Oh my gosh, man. Bad mannered, honestly. You, you've been interrupting me consistently. Don't Have complain I? if you get interrupted. All right, mate, cool. Right, so uh, dealing with other examples <laughs> is not dealing with the example I gave you. I'm asking you to deal with my example, not one of your own inventions. inventions. Deal with my example. I don't agree with your example. So you disagree with Sahih al-Bukhari? So do you disagree with Sahih al-Bukhari? I disagree with you. So I would like you to go Sahih and debate someone with knowledge. May peace be upon you. I wish you well. So, uh, so are you disagreeing with Sahih al-Bukhari? As you can see, you well too, you they're wounded. They're wounded, guys. What, 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 what? Yeah, I'll debate you, bro. No, I'll debate you. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Come bring him over here then. So basically, guys, what you saw was uh, uh, another gullible Englishman who's never bothered to study what Islam teaches is trying to justify the rape of women by pointing to another example where Muhammad punished someone for having sex with a female captive. The point is, just pointing to another example doesn't deal with the example in front of your face. What about ism? Ma, it's what about ism. 
Muhammad permitted his followers to have sex with female captives who were still married. That is rape. Shameful. That is adultery. Disgusting. And yet the Muslims are trying to uh, justify that by ignoring that example. The brother didn't know about childhood development and couldn't defend that Muhammad had sex with a six-year-old child. Disgusting. Sorry, sex with a nine-year-old child because he didn't know about childhood development. We don't need to follow Muhammad. We need to follow Jesus Christ, who is a better example to our society and a better example to us. Now, the brother talked about the Old Testament and we really didn't get to dig into it. We really didn't get in to dig into it. But the Old Testament writings are Old Covenant writings. The New Covenant is based on Jesus Christ. When Christians go out and preach the Christian faith, we don't say follow Moses. What we say is follow Jesus. Amen. Jesus didn't own a slave. Jesus didn't trade in slaves like Muhammad did. Jesus didn't marry a child like Muhammad did. Jesus didn't mar have sex with a child like Muhammad did. And what we have are Muslims embarrassed by their prophet and are trying to justify the actions of their prophet by either saying it was okay back then or he didn't do that. In other words, they're chucking their own sources under the bus like this brother behind me did when he chucked Sahih al-Bukhari under the bus. We Christians don't suffer from this embarrassment. If you quote to us the example of Jesus Christ in the Gospels, we Christians will want to be like Jesus Christ, even to the point of death on a cross.